You seen here at GMST TV, we seen here with Charles Johnson, aka Hammer, about to talk about the riot in Lucasville of 1993. Yeah, Easter Day. Easter Day. Easter Sunday. 11 days straight. That's crazy. A riot could last 11 days. Now, you feel me? We go get his perspective on what happened in the riot. You know, some stuff went down. And this and that. Seeing here with Chuck. You go ahead, Chuck. Okay. Now don't forget this. Easter Day, 1993. On a Sunday, Easter Day. It was outside lifting weights. And I heard him saying, lock the gates, lock the gates. Yeah. It's, it's a riot going down. So they started locking everything down. So we had L block open. And the yard open. I remember they saying, if y'all gonna stay in, or you gonna get out. Most of them say y'all gonna stay in, or, or, or stay here, or stay in. If you're on that side, you gonna stay in, or you going out, going out. So, uh, I'm talking real. This is some real shit. I've never seen in my life. So what happened was, the first killing I seen, was when the police got killed. What day was that? Like the eighth eighth day or something, seventh eighth day. And it was just like, and, and see, I know everybody all got some more inmates got killed. I see when they put plastic down this one guy's mouth when they all like after all the riot happened, and his throat a plastic bag and choked him out. He died. But 11 people got killed. But um, I've never seen a situation like that in my life. That's why I try to talk to people. Right? Try to talk to people. And then I remember I was walking out of, of L Block and a guy called his guy Keith Lamar a nigga. Which he on death row right now. He beat him with his walker and killed him. So, like, in the beginning of the riot, like, how did how did it all start? Like, because the Muslims didn't want to take TB shots. That's what started the riot. So, why didn't the police you know end it on the first day? Like, how did it last? Because we had two day? police. We had two police officers. They don't just run in like that because. You got two police hostage. You can throw whatever you want to throw in there. So you got to wait around and see what they what how you gonna get the police. Talk some you know, talk some, you know what I'm saying? So the first day y'all took the hostages and they just was talking to y'all like back and forth, like try to negotiate to get the police officers out, like out like how well, did that occur? All day long. They talk all day long on a I mean uh, uh, that thing to make that noise, talk all day. Y'all need to come out and all that, but wasn't no coming out. We lived off of uh, commissary. So in the first couple of days, like how was it? Like that it the was, atmosphere. It was, it was like bad because then they start cutting the water off on us. Cut the water off, and we had nothing to eat, so we ate our commissary. So y'all survived off the commissary for how long? About like seven days. Then they brought some bologna sandwiches. We ate them. How did y'all get the bologna sandwiches? Like they, they pulled it. They pulled a truck in on the yard. We pulled a truck in. They had them on a truck, and they didn't come in. But they put them up to the door, and we got them. So what else had like was going on during this period of time with the rioting? Like in these everybody days? getting fucked up, getting fucked up. Hit with weight bars, <laughs> bust through, bust through walls with weight bars. So that it, I, I heard like that's the reason why they took weights out of the prison. It's that's the of, truth. Because of this riot. That's the truth. So living through all this, like what, what was your like experience and what was you know what I'm saying? My experience was this. I would never like to be in the experience with that again. <laughs> because I know for a fact what I've seen. And the way I seen people get killed in that riot, eleven people got killed. 
It was real serious. Whatever you want to add. Yeah. So that's like about it. Like that's all. Like you got to well, say. Well, well, actually, after the riot, when it when it came in and got us, they had sheets all in the hallway and everything, and they had the SWATs come in and get us. On the eleventh day. Yeah, and they dogged us real bad. Like pushed us to the wall and stuff like that. You know, but you know, but so <clears throat> you said you seen one person get killed. I seen a couple. One guy got plastered in me, and I seen another guy. Uh, one guy got plastered, pushed out in the throat. I seen that, and then I seen uh, I should say, that. and I seen another guy uh, get killed with a walker. Killed with a walker. Yep. And that's it. You seen? Did you see the police get killed? Like when they killed the police? I didn't seen? really see that, but uh. I heard some hollering, <laughs> hollering like crazy, like yeah. "Don't kill me! Don't kill me!" That's what I heard. So, how did you like defend for yourself and survive over them eleven days? Well, actually, I had a dude I was hanging one of my partners. We hanging together. Eleven days, the person got to get some sleep. He watched me while I get my sleep, and I watched him while he get his sleep. So, you know, got to get your rest. So did he survive through the whole riot? My partner? Yeah, yeah he made it. Okay. He out on the street right now to this day. Out on the streets to this day. That's that's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. So did I heard they gave y'all like respiration for some shit that y'all After the riot. Fuck everybody got money. I got a couple thousand dollars for my property. Everybody got money. I think the mayor somebody helped us got money. I can't, but it's a mess. I think the mayor is the mayor, but we all got paid in the rats. For tell my TVs, I blow a blanket, tell them all our property, period. So y'all lasted 11, 11 days. days with no water. No water. No electricity, all dark. Yeah. So that means all the cells and stuff was dark, like Everything at nighttime, dark. pitch black. Yeah, but they had like a, a, a little, uh, when they cut the water, they had a little water thing, a little water dripping. Dude try to catch water with a with a, with a bucket, but he take it take a long time when he was catching. But we was drinking them pops and stuff and then Kool Aid from the commissary. So, so how did it all end? Like, it end because everybody was like, like they said it's coming in at the end. They coming. So they were, the police already did. So they coming. They came in. So it was. They came on in and got got nasty for that. Came in and got. Us. And then, they, then they sent us all, but it's all in, in AC block, LC and AC block, naked, but with the plastic cuffs on. We all naked. Put us in there. We all naked. So how did they separate the ones from, you know, getting the charges from the ones that they didn't really know until everybody got to talk because everybody was just locked up. Then they locked everybody down. So then people started stitching on each other. That's how they call it. So that's how everybody got their charges yep. out of it. Huh? Yep. And right side, I seen him kill him, seen him kill him. That's what happened. Okay, you got anything else to elaborate on? Anything that happened during that day? Yeah, I'm going to say this. Don't never spend some ride. 50 50 chance you'll make it. A chance you might not. I'm just letting you know. I'm done with it. Okay. That's Charles Johnson, a.k.a. Hammer, you feel me? And we out of here, and we done with this.